So you're a game master who wants to run a new role-playing game. Maybe it's your first, or your second, or your fifteenth. Maybe you're a little intimidated because it's more complex than anything you've run before. Maybe it's your first time prepping to run a game you haven't played before. Maybe it's just something new. You want the process to go smoothly, and you want to make as few mistakes as possible. Well, the bad news is that step zero of running a new role-playing game is accepting that mistakes will happen. And that's okay. That's part of the process. The good news is that the Alexandrian is here to help. Step one, read the rule book, cover to cover. I'm afraid there's no cheating around this and no shortcuts. If you're lucky, the RPG you've chosen will have a well-organized rule book, but the process of mentally touching every page of the book will not only prevent you from missing a rule entirely, it will also begin constructing a mental map of the rule book that will help you find whatever you're looking for more quickly at the gaming table. Step two, make a cheat sheet. This is my secret weapon. I'll prep cheat sheets and add them to my custom GM screens for every game I run. It's real easy to fake mastery of a rule system when you have it all laid out six inches in front of your face. The act of creating a cheat sheet will also enhance your actual mastery of the rules. You'll touch every part of the system a second time and also engage with the system to really, to really understand what makes it tick. Now, my goal with one of these cheat sheets is to include every rule in the rulebook. Uh, this doesn't include character options like feats, class abilities, disadvantages, or the like, but I do try to dig deep to, to suss out all those weird rules that RPG manuals leave lying around in dank corners. Now, you'll discover that a lot of RPG manuals are actually, well, they're actually quite terrible when it comes to organizing their rules. So you can also seize the opportunity here to reorganize everything in a way that makes sense to you. You'll also find yourself resolving thorny issues and unclear mechanics that might otherwise booby trap you during the actual game. I'll also give copies of these cheat sheets to the players, which will help them learn the system, and then revisit them after a session or two of play. Was there stuff I missed? Stuff that could have been phrased better? Stuff that could be cut? Stuff that should be moved around for easier use? Do it. Print a new copy and repeat until you've refined your cheat sheet into a lean, mean running machine. You can find examples of these cheat sheets on the Alexandrian, and I've um, linked to them in the font of all knowledge down below. Well, on that note, let's talk about step three. Run a one-shot. If I'm interested in running a long-term campaign in a new role-playing game, I'll almost never start by jumping directly into the campaign. Instead, I'll run a one-shot. This will usually be a published scenario, and I'll usually use pre-generated characters. This one-shot allows both me and the players to work out the kinks. For the players, it will make it a lot easier for them to create their characters for the full campaign. They'll understand how the game works, and that will help them understand the choices they're making during character creation. For you as the Game Master, this experience running the game will help you get comfortable with the new system. That'll make it easier for the first session of the actual campaign to go smoothly, getting things off on the right foot with characters and situations that you'll be spending months or years with. It's also possible you'll discover that you don't actually like the game, in which case you can just move on to a new game without having wasted a bunch of time and effort on something that, that isn't going to work. Step four, co-opt player expertise. You want to do this in every way you can. This includes, hey, Bob, can you look up the rules for pugilating people? It also includes defaulting to, does anybody know the rules for pugilating people? instead of defaulting to looking it up yourself, right? Now, there's sneakier stuff you can do, too. Uh, for example, let's say that the PCs are using a weird combination of abilities or, or wickedly smart tactics, and you can't figure out how to counter them. They're just mopping up everybody they fight. What you can do is design some bad guys with the same combination of abilities or who use the same tactics, and then wait to see how the players deal with it. Basically, what I'm saying is that the Game Master doesn't play alone. There's a, there's a gaggle of smart people sitting at the table with you, and you're all working together. Step five, run sessions that highlight specific rules. When a game has a lot of specialized subsystems, it's not unusual for players to struggle with some of them. Uh, grappling rules are a common example in a lot of systems, and, and also stuff like rigging in Shadowrun or social zones in Infinity. 
Often the reason players struggle with these subsystems is simply because they only come up, you know, once every four or five sessions. So you all muddle through them once, and then by the next time they come up during play, you've all forgotten the details, and you have to muddle through them again. So what I'll do is design specific scenarios that really emphasize these specific systems over and over again. Are you having trouble with grappling? Well, a whole scenario based around grasping gorillas and their pet pythons will usually lock those rules in for the whole group. And once you've locked that mastery in, you'll stop having to muddle your way through. This can also be a great way to divide and conquer larger and more complicated games, uh, bringing them online one subsystem at a time. Step six. Fake mastery with prep. The system cheat sheet you prepped puts the core rules at your fingertips, but you can also fake mastery of the game through your scenario prep. For example, take the time to look through the stat blocks for every creature in the adventure. Do they have a spell you don't know? An ability that references a rule you're not familiar with? Don't wait until you're running the game. Grab that information now and put it in their stat block. Your goal is to put everything that you personally need on the page. Now, the key thing is that over time, you are going to actually master more and more of this material. You're going to learn how the jump rules work. You're going to learn what a magic missile spell does. You're going to memorize how much damage a, a phase four plasma rifle does and what the rules for plasma damage are. Now, as you master that material, you can then refocus your notes on just the stuff that you need now, the stuff you haven't mastered yet. Step seven, for everything else, set a time limit for looking up rules. If all else fails and you find yourself frequently getting bogged down in the new rules, set a time limit for yourself. A 30 second sand timer behind your GM screen works great for this. When you need to reach for the rule book, just get in the habit of flipping the sand timer over. If you can't find the answer you're looking for in 30 seconds or, or 60 seconds or whatever feels right to you, make an arbitrary ruling and move on. Be open and clear about what you're doing with the players too. Uh, you can say stuff like, I'm not sure what the rule is here, so we're just going to make an opposed athletics check and then make a note to review those rules after the session. Before the next session, obviously, you should take the time to review the actual rules and then discuss and correct those rules with your players so that you're all on the same page the next time this situation comes up. You might also want to add this to your cheat sheet. Now, in some cases, you might discover that the rules you were looking for don't actually exist. If that's the case, and you think it's something that will likely come up again, you may also want to codify whatever your solution was or figure out how you do want to handle it in the future. Speaking of the future, you should give some serious thought to your future by hitting the subscribe button. Don't let your future self miss out on all the great videos I have planned. This video is brought to you by So You Want to Be a Game Master, my new book from Macmillan and Page Street Publishing. So You Want to Be a Game Master is the only true step-by-step -step guide to becoming a game master. In less than an hour, you'll have all the tools you need to run your first adventure. From there, I'll guide you one step at a time, showing you how to create your own adventures along with the practical, actionable tips and tricks you'll need to share them with confidence. Good gaming. I'm Justin Alexander, and I'll see you at the table.